All right, there are a lot of changes since my last update. Um, what you're looking at is sort of a test environment uh, that I've been working with. Um, and in case you haven't seen the uh, last video on the new rendering method I put up, uh, let me do a quick recap on that. So it uses a new method of rendering. The old chunk loading that you have to deal with is gone. Now everything loads instantaneously. Um, you can actually render very large environments and there's no like polygon or voxel counts to deal with. Um, so the amount of detail that you render isn't really um, limited in any way um, other than you know the complexity of the algorithms and, and so forth used to generate it. Um, but uh, so you can see like if I get close to an object here you can see that actually these surfaces are not cubic they're curved at the corners and they've got this bumpy texture that sticks out and uh, just as well, um, they've got you know a lot more detail than just a, a standard cube. But anyway, this is the, the in spite of the fact that they're rounded and they have cracks between them, you can see these hairline cracks kind of pop up sometimes. Um, they're actually functioning as solid objects. I've been working on some fluid simulation physics. Um, there's a lot of uh, interesting stuff going on with the fluid simulation. Like um, they can simulate pressure and uh, the, the water volume is constant. And um, these things have not really been done or done well in, in most games that they usually in these sort of 3D um, voxel games, just like you know, a, a sort of source of water, and it's not a constant fluid, and it just generates water infinitely, and so forth. And that's kind of entertaining for its own things, but this actually allows you to do a lot more applications. So let's show the fluid. So when I uh, pour this fluid on here. Actually, the way it's rendered isn't uh, necessarily a one-to-one -one correlation with the actual fluid volume. Um, uh, so it might look like it's not actually functioning correctly, but the, uh, the water, sort of unit-based water that it's working on top of is actually uh, keeping the volume. And um, you'll be able to see that in some other images and videos that I'll share in this update. Um, so the, the, even though the, the volume of the water is constant, in each cell it can be a variable amount of sort of water density. Um, and basically the water sort of thins out until, and pours down the sides of anything that it can, otherwise it'll fill up the volume. So let's create a little volume here that it can fill up. Um, just get rid of all this and add in some solid area to work with here. And I can also demo the pressure here. So let's uh, start creating some area to simulate pressure. So as you know by uh, simple physics experiments you probably did in elementary school when you pour a bunch of water in something, the uh, fluid should equal out, the volume should equal out at the same level to minimize the amount of energy. So let's pour some water in here. A bigger volume. So you can see it begins to fill up. And even though there's a sort of U-bend here, it will still continue filling over. And 
works. Um, and there's really not any games I can think of that do this successfully. I could be wrong. Someone tell me if I can't think of anything. Um, so it's pretty cool, like the, the types of applications that you could do with this. Like, you know, you could have a uh, fluid push up something else, like a piston or a platform or something, or have it interact with other stuff. Um, so, anyhow, um, just getting everything working with the, the rendering method, integrate new rendering method, integrating the old pipeline like materials and textures and things like that and all of the other stuff that you need to render was a lot of work and then getting this fluid simulation working was also quite a bit of work in addition to which I've been sort of uh, preoccupied with other issues um, in the past couple weeks, so, but even all that said, uh, I'm pretty happy with how things are coming along. Like, this is, I think this is pretty interesting how this fluid simulation is turning out. Um, anyhow, uh, I won't do too long of an update here. Um, let's just, let's open up this volume a little bit just so you can see. So this is actually a 64 by 64 by 64 volume, which is about 250,000 units. Um, it can do a 128 cube volume, which is about 2 million units, and simulate water in that um, pretty well. It's actually multi-threaded, so the uh, old demos were not multi-threaded, so it was a little bit more chunky, but this actually runs pretty smoothly. Um, so it's just, it's extremely powerful, what I think that you can do with this. Um, the amount of fluid it can render, the amount of objects that it can render, uh, the fact that there's no chunk generation time anymore. Um, this is still all volumetric, just like uh, you were used to. Um, there's actually some video, I think it's on Twitter, or a demo, it might be one on YouTube as well, or a demo how everything is volumetric. You see, even when I subtract in water, it fills in the space here. So, pretty cool. Even though you can't always see the edge of the water, some of these things need to be fixed here. The water is actually falling down and creating a waterfall. So there's just, like I said, a discrepancy between the way it's actually rendered um, and the way that it, the data is actually stored. So it does generate full waterfalls. I just need to ensure that uh, sort of thin layers like that get accurately rendered. Um, and it also looks like the water is sort of shrinking into nothing, but what is actually happening is there's a thin layer of water that uh, gets pushed down until um, it's, you know, as thin as possible, and then it uh, falls to the next layer if it can. And, uh, you know, just as well you can contain water. Let's create a uh, sort of container here where I can keep some water inside it. I'll take a hole somewhere, maybe. Is there a hole? Could be a bug, potentially. Let's make sure. Looks like it's fine. It might have just been overflowing. Yeah, it's probably overflowing over the edge of this right here. Like this.
I am having as much fun here. And if you can't tell by my voice, I'm pretty tired as usual. Seems to be a this choose the wrong time to record these videos. Anyhow, I'm going to cut off this recording. Thanks for watching. Um, and I'll put some more info in the update as well.